Hi everybody, this is Miss Amy here and thank you for joining me for another fun art project. Today we'll, we will be working on this fun fishbowl collage project, kind of like painting with paper. So let me go through the supplies you need to complete this project. First, you'll need a piece of thin cardboard. Um, I have a piece of white cardboard here. Um, you could use a, an old cereal box or something similar to that. That would be just fine. Um, and then know that your fishbowl will be that brown color instead of the white if you do that, but that is okay. So you will need that piece of cardboard. You will need uh, pieces of different colored paper cut up into small pieces, or you can rip them into smaller pieces. So maybe some junk mail, some old magazines, um, construction paper, tissue paper, gift wrapping paper works, any type of paper that you have laying around at home. Just cut out a bunch of different colors that you would like to add to your fishbowl. And it can be random shapes and sizes, smaller pieces. Um, doesn't have to be all the same. Just um, a variety is great. And then you will need a pencil to be able to draw your fishbowl. Ooh, a pair of scissors and some glue, a glue stick and a bottle of glue. And I forgot my scissors. So let me grab those real quick. Perfect. Scissors. Scissors are important <laughs> for this project. All right. So let's get started. We want to put our cardboard in front of us um, like this so we can draw. And I'm going to start by, I'm going to make my fishbowl round like my example. You could make any shape you wanted. If you want to do a square, like an aquarium shaped, you go right ahead. That is okay. You can be super creative with this project, but I'm just going to walk you through how I did the project. So, so I'm going to start with a, a line across the top of my cardboard. See if you can see that pretty. Yeah, you can see that good. Awesome. And then I'm going to draw a line on the bottom of my cardboard about the same size as that line on the top. All right, and then I'm gonna do a curve line um, and it's gonna to curve towards the edge of my cardboard. So just a small curve line, just like that. And on the other side, you're gonna curve it towards the edge of your cardboard. And on the bottom, you're gonna do a curve line, curve it out toward the edge of your cardboard and the same on the other side. And that you're basically creating the top rim of your bowl and the bottom rim of your bowl. Now we're gonna start here where we left off and then I usually put a little dot just to know where to end my line and then down here, I'm gonna do the same on that side. So I'm gonna start my curve line right here. I'm gonna curve it out towards the edge of my cardboard and then end it right at that dot down there. So just a curve line all the way down to that dot. And the same on the other side, curve it out toward the edge of your cardboard. Awesome, there's our fun fish bowl. So you could make it different shape if you wanted even. You could do a curvy line like this, you could do a straight line, you could do however you want. You could create a fun fish bowl. So then, um, I draw my fish on the cardboard also before I start cutting. So I wanna make a couple little fish for my fish bowl. Now fish, you can make any shape of fish that you want. I'm just gonna show you a basic, simple uh, fish shape, but you can add some fun details to your fish or you can be creative and make a different type of fish or a little frog if you wanna put a frog in your fish bowl, that's fine. However you want to do that. So when I do my little fish, I start with a straight line up and down, and then I'm gonna draw a curve line that comes out and goes back to that bottom, to that straight line. So it, could, it kinda, kinda resembles a sideways light bulb a little bit or a little bit of a balloon, but you can make it thicker or thinner depending on what kind of fish you want. So I'm just gonna make a curve line, end it there. 
Then I'm going to make the tail and I'm going to make some triangle shapes for the tail. Now you can get more fancy with that by adding some different types of lines to your triangle. So here's a, here's one and then the second one. So if you want to make a more um, fancy triangle, you could do, you could just make it curvy line, make it a big flowy tail if you wanted, just however you want to do your tail. There we go. And then a little fin on the bottom is just a little triangle shape. And then a little one on the top is a little triangle shape. And you can do more than one fish. I'm just going to do one fish for example. But um, like in my original one, I made two little fish to swim around in the fish bowl. Totally up to you how you want to do that. So now you want to cut out your fish and your fish bowl. So I'm going to just cut my fish and get him out of the way, set him aside. There we go. And I'm just going to cut out my fish bowl. Now, if you're using cardboard, it may be a, a little bit harder to cut. You may need to get a parent or maybe an older brother or sister to help you. But a cereal box cover or a cereal box um, should be fairly easy to cut. So I'll go ahead and cut your cool fishbowl out. Another reason I used a white cardboard is so you could see my drawing a little better than if I used a piece of brown cardboard. Now I had one of my students actually paint the top of his bowl white because um, he wanted it to be white. You could do that before you started. You could paint and let it dry. Um, or you could glue white paper all over it. Totally up to you. All right. So here's my fish bowl. Oops, let me cut out my fish really quick too. And when and hopefully you've got all your little paper cut out or ripped into little smaller pieces. We're going to get ready to glue that on to our fish bowl. So you want to get your glue stick out. The glue stick works best for the pieces of paper. And then your bottle of glue will work for gluing your fish on at the end. All right, so we're going to layer our paper kind of like painting. And we're going to use a variety. Um, you can use whatever colors if you want. Um, I used browns and a little bit of darker browns and lighter browns um, for my example here. Kind of like sand in the bottom of my fishbowl. But a lot of aquariums have those colorful rocks, so you could use a different color. Maybe you have some pink paper or uh, bright orange paper, whatever you want to use on the bottom to represent the bottom of your aquarium is fine. I'm going to use some black and brown paper this time that I have. And let me get that out here because that's what I have cut out. And so that's what I'm going to use. And it's okay if your paper has patterns on it. Uh, some of mine has some patterns. Um, a couple of mine even have a little bit of uh, some words on it. That is okay. I think it makes your picture look a little more interesting. So let me pull some browns out here and we'll get started. So what you're going to do is we want to cover all our fishbowl and not see any of the background, not see any of the cardboard show through when we're gluing. So I'm just going to grab a piece here, open up my glue stick. You want to make sure that you cover glue over the whole piece because we don't want any edges sticking up. I mean, you can go back later and glue down edges, but we just want to make sure the whole thing is covered. Now, um, I'm putting this on the edge and it's actually overlapping. I don't know if you see that. See how it's overlapping? You can either wrap it around your cardboard and glue it to the back, or you could just take your scissors and trim that off because we want a nice, we want to see the shape of our fishbowl and not just have paper hanging over the edge. 
sometimes it's just easier to trim off the extra around the edge. And you can wait till you're all done gluing your paper on to do that if you'd like. Um, then you have a nice clean edge to your fish bowl here. So what I'm going to do is just take another piece here and I'm going to um, overlap my paper. So I'm just going to overlap it a little bit um, because I want to make sure everything's covered and I have no chance for anything to peek through. Uh, any uh, that cardboard in the background to peek through. So I'm going to make sure that I overlap all my papers. And it could be any direction. I think it looks really interesting. So it's kind of like painting with paper. It's a fun way. And this takes a little bit of time. Um, some of you may work quicker than others. Uh, but just take your time and really think about what papers you want to put down and make sure they're all glued down nicely. So once you have all that glued down, um, and for this video's sake, I'm not gonna do the entire bowl because it would take me a long time. So I take my time doing this. Um, so once you have all the brown down or your colored um, paper for rocks at the bottom, you wanna layer some blue paper on here to create the look of water. Now in my example, I used some darker blue, then to medium blue, then lighter blue. Uh, depending on what shades of blue you have, you can just use a couple. If you just have dark and light, that's fine. If you have some white, because you're using a brown, maybe you're using a brown cardboard and you have some white paper, you could definitely layer some blues and then some whites also. So you can totally be creative. So you want to do the same thing with the, the water. I'm starting with my darker blues towards the bottom. And I'm just going to layer it right like that. And what I might do also is come back and add some brown to go over that blue just to make it look like um, there is here. Let me just do that now. I'll show you. Instead of the water being on the rocks here, there, that makes it look like my sand and water are and my sand is in front. However you want to do that is fine though. Um, okay, so then after I'm layering some darker blue paper along the bottom, and you wanna overlap again, you wanna make sure your paper's overlapped. And you wanna make sure that you go all the way to the edge of your fishbowl because you don't want to have any cardboard showing through. And it is okay if you go over the edge because you can trim that off later. So I'm just going to glue that on. And then once I have all my dark blue, then you want to add your other blues. And you can go as high as you want on the fishbowl. I only went, I usually go, I leave a little bit of space at the top for just a plain cardboard to show through because most fish bowls I see, the water doesn't go all the way to the very top. There's usually a little bit of space. So I just uh, stopped when I got to a certain point on my fish bowl. So you could make, um, you could uh, do that also with your fish bowl. And like I said before, if you have a brown cardboard, you can either put glue white paper to make it white. You could leave it brown or um, paint it however you would like to do that. So uh, once you have all your water done, then you could add your, your green plants. And I just cut out my green construction paper or green magazine, pieces of green and layered them on there. To, I cut them out thinner to make them look like plants. And then these ones, I just had three pieces and I glued them together to create one big plant. Um, we had some students make a little treasure box out of their scrap paper for their fish bowl. Um, whatever you would like to do. I just like the look of plants, so I use the green for plants, but you do it however you would like. And then with the fish, we'll work on the fish right now. I'm going to make a gold fish, so I'm going to use some oranges. Uh, mostly oranges in my picture. I have some dark oranges. Some light oranges. These are browns. I'm going to put not use that one. I even have a reddish orange. 
So I'm going to get all those pictures over here or all those papers. It is helpful if you have all your papers cut ahead of time and then you don't, you can just sort through them and pick what you want and then save them. Cause you may use, um, this is a great way to use up scrap paper is to cut it and sort it by color and store it away. And then you have paper available whenever you want to do a collage project. All right, so I'm just gonna take and do the same thing that I did on my fishbowl. I'm gonna layer my paper on my little fish here. So I'm gonna start with one. I wanna make sure I don't have any cardboard showing through. So I am gonna overlap. And like before, if it goes over the edge, I can, I can just trim that off with my scissors. Or you can wrap it around if you want also. So you want to make sure the entire fish is covered. And if you have to cut smaller pieces, sometimes that's that's helpful. Like I think I'm going to rip that one in half because it was a little bit big. It's just easier because your fish is so small. It's easier to work with some smaller pieces. I think I'm going to wrap these around just to see. Yeah, you just put a little glue on. You can wrap those around. And uh, sometimes that's easier than doing, trying to cut in that little small space. So you just wrap it around to the back of the fish and you can glue it right onto the back because that part's not gonna show. That part's gonna be glued down. So let me put some more glue on this one. And we're gonna wrap it around the back side of the fish also on that one. Add a little bit of glue to that. There we go. This fish is looking great. Little gold fish here. And sometimes to wrap around the fin, I just put a little, I snip a little line, uh, cut that to the fin and it's just easier to wrap. Um, you don't have to do that. It just makes it easier to wrap. And then I have room, I'm gonna trim that edge off. So the fish actually take a little more work than your fishbowl probably just because they're small and it takes a little extra time, but it's worth it because they turn out looking really cool. So I encourage you to take your time with this project and just enjoy painting with paper. Here, we'll trim him that off too. There we go. All right, so I'm almost done with this cool little fish. Now that was a thick piece of paper. It'll be really hard to fold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that one. That was like a thick piece of paper. So actually there's enough left there. I could probably use this on the tail down here. That would be cool. There and then trim that off. So it looks really cool. One more little piece of tail and then I will be done with this fish. Okay, so, and we're gonna trim that off a little bit. Okay, so once your fish is all covered with paper, um, you can add some details on it with a black Sharpie. You could add an eye. I gave my fish an eye and a gill. So I just take and make a little eye here, give them a little personality, make a little smile face maybe for a happy fish and then a gill because that's how they breathe. If you can, if you want to add any more details, you could add more details. So once you're done with your fish and your fish bowl is all completed, you're going to take um, a fine, like I did on here, I found some uh, spots where I wanted to glue my fish. Um, some you may want to overlap and make it look like he's swimming in front of the plants. So you could do that. And you just use your glue bottle for this one. You would just spread some uh, glue from your glue bottle on your fish, stick it on wherever you want it in your fish bowl. Um, and then what you want to do 
after you've got your fish and everything on there is put a heavy book or something heavy over your fish bowl and that's going to help your fish to stay uh, to glue until you know maybe an hour let the glue dry and that's also going to help flatten if your cardboard curled up a little bit on you that's going to help keep it all flat and look really nice so when you get done you'll have a beautiful fish bowl with some fun little fish in there or a frog or whatever you create so Thank you for joining me for this project. And I would always love to see a picture of what you complete. So you're welcome to email that to me. Um, show me what, you, what you've made. So thank you again for joining me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.